Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to animate multiple elements at variable rates. In the previous challenge, uh, we challenged the animation rate. We changed the animation rates for two similarly uh, animated elements by altering their keyframes rule. You can achieve the same goal by manipulating animation duration of multiple elements. In the animation running in the code editor, you see there are three stars in the sky that twinkle at the same rate on a continuous loop. To make them twinkle at different rates, you can set animation duration property to different values for each element. Okay, sweet. We've sort of done this before in the previous uh, uh, tutorial, I sort of talked through it, but we wanna set the animation duration of elements with classes star one, two, and three to one second, 0.9, and 1.1. Uh, so we see star one, two, and three, with an animation duration. Currently, they're all set to one second, and so it seems pretty um, clear that we want to, well, we wanna set star one to, well, we can leave it at one, and then here we want to go uh, 0 0.9, and here we want to go to 1.1. And so now we have this cool sort of uh, twinkly thing, and so if we run the test, we see that that passes. So. Um, let's just uh, dive a little bit more deep into this code. The reason that I'm making these tutorials is sort of so that there's a reason for you to see this rather than just following these uh, specific tutorials to get the uh, answers. And so let's start at the CSS because everything in between these style elements, style, which is up here, and it goes down to here. All these style elements is all, these are all CSS. So the CSS is the cascading style sheet, which um, styles this HTML. And the HTML is very simple. It has, we have one, two, three, four elements. We have a back element, and then we have um, three stars elements, which are differentiated by classes of star one, star two, and star three. So the, there's, with each of these um, divs here, we have a class of star, uh, we have a class of star one, uh, and then stars. So each of these three elements has stars class in, uh, the same, but then star one, two, and three are the ones that are different for them. And then, so if we come up here, let's take a look at star. So what does star mean? The background color is white. Say we changed it to red. Uh, all of a sudden, these stars are going to twinkle red. So that gives you an idea for the things that they share. Uh, the height and the width is 30. If we change that to 100, we're gonna see that the height is just gonna be huge and they're gonna be oblong shape. We change it back to 30. If the width, we should see that they're going to get that. Oh, because I changed it lower from 30 to 20, they became thin. But if we change this to 100, they would become really fat stars. So we return it to 30 by pressing Command Z. Um, the border radius, I got mixed up on that earlier. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Uh, iteration count is infinite, which is, is the reason that they continuously twinkle. Uh, and then so yeah, so with the star one, the margin from the top. So that's what we're looking at We've got 15, 25, and 10. So star three is actually the one with the smallest margin from the top. Top, so I'm thinking this is star three. So if we were to change that top margin to 50, interesting, okay. So the margin has to do with how close it is to the other ones. So 15% uh, for the first one, if we were to change this to 85%, my guess is that all the stars would shift it down. So cool, so the margin from the top does that. If we were to change the margin from the left to, from 60 to 10%, it would shift to the left. That one doesn't affect the other issues. Uh, the duration's one second. If we were to make this 10 seconds, you would see a very slow twinkle. And then the animation name twinkle correlates with the keyframe of 20% uh, down here. And so we see that twinkle is the animation name that all of them have, so they all share the exact same short sort of uh, uh, the the level of opacity you see as they as they become brighter and then as they go down they become thinner or not thinner but you can see through it more you see how it's white at the top and then it's dark at the bottom that's because it's becoming uh, opaque meaning it's becoming see through and so all of them share this same animation quality and then the other uh, star element uh, situations just simply define where they are, and then the animation duration tells us how long they're twinkling. And so that, uh, I think, is a background, or is a, uh, is a description of what's going on with this code. And then finally, we have the back. The back element, 
is the one that just has its positions fixed, which means that it doesn't move. Um, it's it has zero padding at the top left. Everything uh, that just means that there's no uh, gaps around the outside. It fills the space. And then the width is 100%. Height is 100%. Again, it fills its space. And then it's gradient. It starts with black. We could change this to red, and that would make the top red. That gives you an idea. If we were to do that here. Uh, you see that the middle becomes red, and then the center. And so that's how the code works. And uh, if we run the tests, they still pass, and uh, that's it. I hope that uh, my going into depth makes this video more useful as you're moving through the uh, tutorials, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.